Well, good morning. Good morning from me, at least. I know you guys may be, eh, maybe 10 o'clock at night, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, just got home from school, 6 o'clock you're eating dinner. I don't know. Could be any time, but for me, it's the start of a brand new day. And man, oh man, aside from the fact that our top priority is always not dying in hardcore, I am excited to get going. That's the sip of scalding hot coffee you guys wanted to hear because we need uh, we need to be ready to go. This was about the screenshot we ended up with in the last video, and yep, this represents our starting tower for uh, <laughs> you can't eat a torch for our build. So. Uh, at the moment, at least, I think I want to put, do we still have the slab? Maybe it ended up in one of the chests. Okay, it's in there. So I think I'm going to do two things to help get us going here. And then we got to Go, 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 because we want to I'm be going kind of non-stop. So it appears, let's get that, I'm going to try to have these as fully stacked as we can, and then we need Um, let me just do four stacks of everything full, at least. Seems, uh, seems like the better way to do it, right? And then we got a bit extra, and we still have four spots, so let's do... One more of everything. Not too worried about the uh, cobble. We can make as much more as we need. We'll just polish it up as we go. All right. So we made our tower last time and kind of set things up. And as I talked about, um, this is going to be our uh, deal, and I, I did, I was. <laughs> Not to be TMI or anything, but I was I was laying in bed, and I was, uh, honestly, I don't remember if it was as I was going to sleep or as I was waking up this morning. Uh, one way or the other, though, I decided at least for these wings uh, on the following pattern. And I was like, yeah, I think I think this is gonna be be the one. And then what I think I wanna do Was scary that it doubled up like that. Is come out dark on these, and what this hopefully will do. too much. 
much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, because that's eight, so that's good. So what I kind of... Well, that was weird. <laughs> uh, I should say I still got uh, got a little bit of stuff running in the background here as we kick off. So I'm sure the game computer is just getting going, but it shouldn't be a problem. I hope, anyway. All right. Then... Here... So I kind of had the idea of like, a, you know, the loops on a chain a little bit that these would highlight. I don't know if it'll end up looking that way or if it'll look completely different, but I think that the the double pattern is kind of good. And I guess I can just do this. Then we go there and oh, 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 and there, and there, and there. I don't know. I guess we did fill in all those holes. Going quicker than I thought. Here, here. Break that one. And that one. This one. All right. Uh, and then this one, we just have to make sure we count it out. I don't think I put torches down on any of those others, so we should hurry a little bit here. Boom. Alright. Now. Oh, you know what I didn't grab? First of all, I can grab all these pieces. We should do a loop around, see what all we've got here. Uh, quite a few in tight. Oh, 
Let's just go ahead and sleep. Yeah, I like that with the outer the outer ring of dark to kind of set it off and keep that purple all in everything. And I thought about doing doing some diagonal vertical stuff with white, and I still may at some point, but I just I, I got to thinking that, you know, we'd then need to light everything to make sure it didn't get um to the point where we're spawning mobs and all that. Just Let's get it built and working. Then if we, we want to tweak it, we can later. Alright, so now this becomes less of a deal. We can just jump onto it. And now that I've got those torches down, we're going to fill all this in. And again, want to count this row because the water is going to flow into it. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and we'll put our buckets there. So now everything else is going to come up to above those. And it's only really here that we needed to get the extra coverage. Uh, um, by having the two rows of blocks, we'll just uh, keep keep water from dripping down on our head while we're down there. So that's uh, that's our starting point. Now, what we want to do, and what I think gonna do is play with the play with the height a little bit so these will be invisible right they're they're always gonna be blocked out so we've got this much for a square and we'll do the outer wall as well it'll stay um, fairly flush But this is, this is, oh, I didn't even finish this yet. And eventually we'll want to make the outer edge uh, connector there too, so we can get in and out as we light things. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, man. That's why I didn't go making more of the polished stone or anything like that yet either. Until we know what our pattern is going to be on the walls, um, I think we're better off just holding it. Um, you know, kind of make the make the refined materials when we need them. Oop. Oop. Okay. So that's all good. Um, and yeah, I think I think we're good to Just keep that edge going. Get them all? One more. All right. Now, 
this is the beginning of our spawning deck, right? I already kind of touched on that. And it's going to go up the the actual deck of it needs to be up one more so that they can't fall back in right and what we're going to do is play with that a bit so that we have a little bit of texture from below i think this part I really didn't, I, I just kind of had the wings and I have an idea what I'd like to do. So let's let's kind of set this. Um, here. Nope, 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 nope. That was a mistake. There and there. Clear that. Then, I guess we'll eat in. Question is uh, I, th I think this is all right. It makes ten and nine. I guess think about that. Maybe let's do this. <gasps> Ooh, stupid. Alright, that uses more purple. It kind of makes a white, a white, a, a, you know, a white diagonal into the internal corners, and then a, a purple that will kind of tie in with the chains and loop all the way around the outside. Yeah, I'm done with that. And it'll have a little bit more height variety. So we'll have three different layers from below, which should. Uh, Should make that a bit nicer. Um, and I think to finish everything off, we'll have a full polished ring all the way around at that uniform height. That'll frame everything in. Yeah. 
right? This is going to be the hardest. Can we replicate? There, and then everything else is purple. Close down. question is, do we want to pop the, the corners to at least give it a, a facet? Like, do we want a, a fully flush side, or do we want, excuse me, a indented corner that makes them kind of stand out, right? I think... Th while I'm not a big fan of boxes, I think that the squared edge, in this case, looks a little better. Like houses and stuff like that, uh, definitely helps to sometimes break those by indenting. But I don't, I don't think we get that here. All right, double check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All this is going to be a wall. So I think we're back to good. Let's uh, do the next one here.
Okay, all right. No. Guess I could have left that up. those dirt here so what do you guys think i'm loving this this is the first time i've done it i'm i'm learning actually I, you, you wouldn't know I, i've made so many of these boxes and you know i i don't i couldn't even guess that the first uh this is the one that me. Everything else can come in too, but I, I'm afraid if I try to break a torch on this particular one, we're going to run into mobs. And I haven't even done the slabs yet, so that may, may be a deal. Um, Yeah, I mean, you know, the first darkroom spawners I ever did were like dirt or cobble facing the world because I was, and I died loads of times trying to make them falling creepers you name it they're they're a bit perilous uh, I think we got plenty of everything else to keep going although we'll quickly I think start trying to work the wall that uh, could be a bit exciting but we got one more of these to go so let's get it done and then we'll This one is the calcite. Oh. Dark, dark. This is not calcite at all.
there, there. Ooh, get a side over edge. Okay. We are now good up to the uh, up to the level of the outer wall. And I think this is a good chance. Let's go ahead and sleep first. Sorry, talking into my raised mic there. Yeah, so let's see if we can find our way out. We should probably run around in case there's any. I don't see any blocks. So let's, oh, yep, that's right. Let's go take a look. I guess I could have just looked up, but we want a good look. Real quick, I have no idea. So that was 33 minutes. So I think probably two episodes to get um you know the, we'll we'll be able to start in on the sides. Yeah, I really can't see much of these until you're up above, but kind of peek through the hole. Can we get it? <laughs> it is big. Oh, I think that is going to look good, though. So... We've kind of got a, and we'll look at it again when we go up there, but um, we've kind of got this chain effect. You can just about see it up there. If I had made a spyglass, I could have showed you guys better. But then we've got these kind of diagonally pieces around the edge. And... I'm wondering which of those motifs we want to use up the box, but or both or something. We'll see. Um, once we get going, our space demands are a lot less, and we'll get a better look at the floor once we get up here. Kind of that first angle, and that's why we, we just kind of reset everything to flat, and we'll put this bottom edge on. Oh, yeah, I think that looks nice. That little contour, kind of the pattern there, real good. So I, I like this kind of split angles, but, of course, we're going to be going upward as we do that. And... Everything is um, we could kind of just keep that pattern going all the way up the sides let's let's see how that starts
So we already have this full outer ring, right? And then that would make... Let's just do this wall. You are the wall now, my friend. We won't need much of any dirt. So, boom. And I think just go there. This is why we this is why we practice these. I think those need to go out. Now what about here though? So what that's so much I want to get it done before I forget. Alright, so that will wrap that pattern upward, right? It should just bend bend around the corner, come up to the top. Um, we got finish fixing... Come on. Oh. Finish fixing this because down below... You can't really see it, but we want to keep the same square and this was a dark edge that was the one that we'd run out to the sides on the edge of that dirt so this stays dark and then these will go light and that's what keeps that can 
consistent. Now here, that's easy then. Purple, purple. So we may want to just do these up and up and up and up. I may need more scaffold. Some seventeen enough. Put those away. Keep the goodies. I like I need the extra tools though. think that my sleep keeps me away from all this. We could do a full full sugar cane harvest too whenever we want. Okay, there's all that. Now let's just Used a lot of diorite. Diorite. <laughs> Deep slate. Let's get two more of those stacks. gonna have a ton of those let's they'll make the ring around the outside right but everything else is gonna be pretty deep slate and purple heavy so like once we get past the bottom these go down to 16 a side, uh, or 16 a course uh, as we build up, except for the bottom or in the tops of the, the sections, so, yeah, oh, let's, uh, see where that gets us, I guess. I just dumped a bunch of stuff to make extra inventory, but I don't... That is odd. That's all right, though. We're okay with being odd.
two, two, one. Right now we can just replicate this whole pattern all the way around. But before we do, let's make this the corner, because it is actually the corner I would normally use to be in and out of here. Okay, there's that. Torches back in just on principle. And now, boom, boom. 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 We'll see if we can uh, crank this up a little bit more once we get a few courses in. Okay, everybody see kind of what's going to happen here? We're going to take the view from the bottom and go up with it. So these purples are going to come up to these corners on both sides. And I think we're going to go all the way we'll, we'll do this whole pattern so this will get replicated turned you know like if you <laughs> i'm like moving my hands if you take this this side and flip it to here which is what i did then we're just going to build upward this way like that and the same thing here we're just duplicating it on both sides when that gets done we'll top it there there's the smooth stone underneath so it'll go up above then another row of the deep slate and then we'll do this chain pattern as i'm thinking of it around the full ring so we'll have this pattern going up around and um, then we're going to do this this whole pattern again up Above that chain pattern and then at the very top uh, we'll just do a uh, single and maybe an indented wall in of deep slate to frame it all back uh, like the bottom so hopefully we have enough levels to do that we are at eesh, that's 20 we get to like 256 maybe um, and that would be another, well, that's 32 levels. I think we'll be okay. So that that's the plan anyway. If it gets clipped off, it gets clipped off. We just deal with it. Um, but unlike all my previous farms ever, and I don't know if this is going to be a disaster, I'm going to do this whole wall up. So hopefully that 17 gets us up there, right? We need... 
it's roughly going to be about 20 levels up. So, you know, think there may be a few more levels. Um, you know, if these sides are eight and then we've got uh, an extra, extra couple cross, uh, so 16 and five or so, and, you know, that's 21 and we've got 32 to work with a little top trimming, top trimming, top framing, and we should be good to go. And then once we have this huge box around the outside, then we'll, I think we're going to kind of build and activate each floor as we go up. So this next course that we lay will be a new anchor. Um, and we'll just um, kind of deal with those as they come, I guess. I don't know what... I think I got, I think I've got everything pretty well planned so that we can can make each floor and be all good. But one thing that we do want to make very certain of is that we don't have monsters spawning on that wall. Well, this is what I was trying to do. 54 Let's at least get through the sleep. Oh, because I've got it the wrong way. Like, why can't I? After all that, I stand around taking pictures. Okay, let's see how long one more takes us to... It's a little sketch. Uh, to get laid. So this time we go up, we'll go this way this time. One, one, one. Three. That was our first outer one. So pretty well. Boom. for those efficiencies. Too bad. I think everything looks right there. Alright. Well, let's gonna be good. I'm gonna wrap us up here in a 
under an hour or very close to it episode, I think we should still be good. Well, it's uh, pretty scary. Scary, beautiful. Yeah, 58 minutes, so we're doing very well. Um, hey, I want to say thanks to everybody for dropping by. I hope you're enjoying this build. This is a different approach that I've ever taken to building it. Going with this wall fully vertical first and then uh, filling in the floors of creepers is going to be a new approach. We'll see if it bites me at any point. But uh, yeah, it kind of, it, it may actually make it so that that whole tower of... Uh, of scaffolding and all that that I built on the outside is totally unnecessary, which would be great because that, that's always looked weird and I, I'm not really a big fan of it. So uh, we'll see what we got going, but uh, make sure to tune in for the next episode. I cautiously think we can get the whole exterior done in an episode now, unless we run out of materials or anything crazy like that, which I don't, I think we're pretty well set. So. Uh, we'll just see how it all plays out, but uh, we're going to try to rock and roll on the next one and uh, have a big, deep box to then fill up with floors of creepers. So, see how it all plays out in the next one. Until then, take care. I'm going to take a little break. Hope you guys do the same, and we'll see you whenever you're ready. Bye now.